Well guys, we've arrived. Griffith Park, Walt Disney's barn. We're just rolling in. I see Ethan and Ian and Kristen. There's my wife. And there's Sarah and Aaron. So everybody's here today. All right. I'm excited. The, uh, <laughs> something's happening. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Holland. We're in, guys. We're in, and uh, hey, everybody, let me see your stickers. Everybody got a sticker? You yeah. Got our Walt Disney. Walt Disney's barn, barn sticker. Wow. Carol with the sticker. Uh, this is amazing. We're here, and apparently we can ride that train later. And we're gonna meet an um, author. An author? What's yeah. his name? She, no, her name is Marcy Smothers. Oh. And she wrote Eat Like Walt. Eat Like Walt? Yes. <laughs> Morning. Wow. That's the barn right there, isn't it? That's the <laughs> barn. And what have you? Oh, really? There's the souvenirs and the and what have you. And what have you? <laughs> There's another train crossing. Sarah got stuck back there. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh oh, run! What? Train coming. Train coming? Yeah, another one. Look at there it is. It's just, it's just gonna be nonstop trains here, isn't it? That's the idea. I guess so. You know, Ian Walt loved trains. Walt loved trains. Walt loved trains. Should we just go right into the barn then? I think I've never understood my grandpa's love for miniature trains until this very second. Yeah. No. Because he's hardcore. Really? He was he? hardcore. Super hardcore. Does he have a tattoo of a train on his arm? He had his whole house was full of tracks. <laughs> like a train went through his entire house. Dude, that's a dream. That's a dream. I and love that. And then as an old man, he got a job at Disneyland just because like... Was it on the train? In Florida. Oh. Probably. I, do, I don't know what this is. It's like, I guess, examples of steam generators maybe? They're just making steam. All kinds of steam. So we're learning all kinds of fun stuff. I mean, the, 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 no, so Carol would drive, right? That was the, the name of the, the train that he had at home. Have you seen that the video or the pictures of him sitting on top of the train, smiling, yes. being like a total of dork? Of that was called the Carolwood Pacific on Carolwood Drive. This is the barn in his backyard. Or, I mean, this, that, that was, is. Yeah, yeah originally and constructed that's in L.A. Right. And that's, they moved it here. They moved it here. Yeah, that, yeah, that's one of them, right. This is one of those I was talking about. Uh, and there's the barn again right there. The train that more or less inspired him to make Disneyland because he loved trains. Walt well, loved trains. He did? Yeah. Did you know that? No. Did you know Walt liked trains? Walt liked trains? Yeah. No, Walt loved trains. No, it's the same. So apparently this train is a scale model of one using the great locomotive starring Fess Parker. And that's Fess Parker's autograph on there. Fess is um what, Davy Crockett, right? Wasn't he Davy Crockett? Yeah. So dear to my heart. Oh, yeah.
What'd you find, Christian? This picture. Oh, that's well, the Jungle Cruise. Yeah, exactly. Walt and Harper Goff engaged in a discussion aboard a Jungle Cruise launch in early 1955. And what's this I train? I imagine they were discussing trains. Well, they did that a lot. Yeah. Walt talked trains with a lot of his Imagineers. Um, here's the, uh, we were looking at this yesterday. Uh, th there's a print of this at the train exhibit at the Main Street Opera House. That was the original sketch they drew for the first iteration of Disneyland. They were going to build this across the street from the studio. <laughs> I guess these were some of the other early concept drawings. 1951. Right, look at that. Wow. 1951. Four years before they uh, opened. I see a train. Wait, what's happening over here? I see a train moving. Did you guys trigger that? Is this the Grizzly Flats Railroad? Yes, it is. What is that? Uh, what is the name inspired of? The Grizzly Flats. Yeah, did he have uh, like a Grizzly Flats on it? He just thought it was a cool name. Or? Yeah. <laughs> okay. There it goes. There it goes. Yeah, you can see the full size one at the Orange Empire Railroad Museum. Look out! I see forward facing seats. I see me in the back. Ward Kimball. There's a lot of things to look at. Roger oh, Brogy. Roger Brogy. Oh, yeah. Brogy? Uh, his name comes up in the video that I'm working on for uh, Adventures Through Inner Space. This is his toolbox. What? Roger Brogy's toolbox? Roger Brogy's tools. These are the tools that built the Doom, the Doom buggy, and the automobile. Is he building a Doom buggy? Wow, he's at work. In the 1940s. Wow. <laughs> Look, he told him to do something. Then did he do it? I, I bet he did. Look at that. That's got to be his backyard. Did he build a trestle? Is that his backyard? Yes. That's a trestle in his backyard? Yeah. I know, I really love that. That's fantastic. It's amazing, right? I want a trestle in my backyard. Wow. Wow. He must have had the biggest aspect. Well, oh, I guess this is it right here, then, isn't it? Yep. That's his. Uh, there's the house and the garage, and the, there's the barn. There's the trestle. Where's, oh, there it is. There's a trestle and a tunnel, and then Carol would drive, which is the street they lived on. Yensid Valley. <laughs> wow. Here's the Is this legit? Okay, so they had to make a tunnel because yeah. they wanted to hide the train from the view of Louie's kitchen. <laughs> well, right. They had to make a lot of compromises. They even wrote this into legal documents about because he got this train, she got to have a certain kind of flower bed, certain like, you know, sort of concessions. That's love. Yeah. That's yeah. And then it said that he added an S curve to create a small thrill. Yes, you need thrills. Look at that. It's arguably known as the first dark ride. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, so this was a car that was, right? Yes, it's the car that ran in the backyard railroad. Wow. It's not a replica, it's the, You're right. Yeah. 
I mean, it's a replica. Well, it's a scale of something else, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's made out of steel. It's not, it looks like it's made out of wood, but it's actually it's made out of steel. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you this really beautiful, gorgeous model, GH model replica of the Lily Bell. Okay. So this is the locomotive that ran at Walt Disney's backyard. What a lot of people don't know is that this locomotive, in particular, is actually based after a real locomotive that existed in real life. Okay. Many, many years ago. So the locomotive space after is an old Central Pacific locomotive, number 173, and it actually has the same number as the locomotive. That's... Oh, that's... I was thinking the CP, but I thought that was Carowood Pacific. Is that... Is, or are you talking about... Is well, Carowood Pacific was the name of the back of our railroad, and it's also Carowood Drive, and then CP is okay. also Central Pacific. Okay, so got it. I also thought that was pretty cool, too. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. That. So, when this locomotive... The, loc the real locomotive was built in 1869 by Norris Lancaster, and was later rebuilt in 1872 after being at the wreck. And they really, and uh, sadly it was scrapped in, I think, like in the early 1900s. But it, a, a really popular photograph was taken, and then when Walt was looking locomotive's idea to build for the railroad, sure. he came across a picture of 173. And the reason why he liked it so much because he was intrigued by the large diamond stack it had. Ah, okay. So the purpose of the stack is, since this locomotive was a wood burner, wood produces a lot of fiery embers. So when early locomotives that had the stack, they would produce like a lot of fiery embers and it was able to set the countryside on fire. So the design was to prevent it from setting on fire. Sure. So when the locomotive was uh, built, the, the live steamer version was built finally. Uh, Walt actually helped, uh, he would always like come to the workshop and said like to check out the like how the process was going, but then he always ask, hey, can I help build this? And Roger Brogy would say, like, oh, sure, and he won't teach him anything. Wow. Everything he can, so he learned how to machine at the studio shop. Wow. And so uh, he will like even bring the parts back home and show it to, he brings it to the he's like, that's a cylinder. And so, wow. So yeah, so the locomotive ran at the Kermit Pacific Railroad for about like, a, what I heard was four years, and then. Is that all? Yeah, and then like Charles happened, like people just showed up at his house on the weekends. Want to get a ride? And like they, Salvador Dali. Yeah, Salvador Dali, and then but one time I think like it was running too fast and it tipped over and Steve no. started and a little girl got burned, and that's when Walt decided like, okay, it's time to. But then he got bigger ideas and like he wanted a bigger room, and that's how Disneyland, Disneyland exactly. Was yeah, so it all started his, with a train. Yeah, it all started with a train, and after <laughs> being a storage. The real Lily Bell started going on tours at presidential libraries. I saw it at the Nixon Library, and it was even at railroad museums like the California State Railroad Museum, mm -hmm. and now it resides at the Walt Disney Film Museum. Awesome. But so, if you're, so since this locomotive got so popular in Lifestein, there's actually a company called Railroad Supply that builds these locomotives. So if you ever want your like your own version of Lily Bell, or your uh, yeah, you're oh, okay. Your yeah. He most definitely wants it. I do, I do, I do. Yeah. Yeah. And I want the track to put it on, too. Yeah. So if you want to back your railroad to go around your house, <laughs> yeah. I know where to go. All right. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. All right, yeah. cool, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh huh. These three photos are some of the clearest looks inside the barn right. while he was using it. Is that what that? Workspace. Yeah. That's what he was saying that you don't see a lot of photos of him no, in the barn. So you can see, like, look at how huge these look. Like, I know. Wow. Can you imagine? Look at this Donald Duck orange juice. The what is this? View. Fantasyland aerial view. Oh my gosh. They're restoring it? Because mm -hmm. now there's, there's since a lot of the newer one in to store the plant. Yeah. Some of the last five years. So it's still. Remember, it was wow. sitting out there in the California sun and weather. Yeah, yeah. All nasty. Yeah. So, you know, Walt loved That's monorails. I mean, there's actually trains in the sky. Yeah. That's where the Comes the train. Yeah, that tunnel right there is big for our trail, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We actually have the number one mine train, uh, the one that's on the river. Oh, really? 
Is it going to show here? Can you have me you, you're going to put it here? Yes. Or? Oh, wow. That'd be awesome. We still have the final people. Oh, look, more train. This model is this model is life. I swear. It gets better. Does it wait? Wait. wait. You don't have to come around this corner. No. So that train. You go past the Devil's Peak Box. Old unfaithful. Yeah. Oh, did I miss it? <laughs> oh my god! I thought it was gonna come over here first. Well, don't try to keep me man cub. I don't get in a stew. When I desire to get a big fist fight over me to get a tooth knocked out like you. There's a tooth missing from your face. Don't worry, it ain't no disgrace. It adds a little bit of element of masculinity because it makes you look like you've been fighting again on the top of a box car in Dubuque, Iowa. That's no disgrace. <laughs> You got a book? I got a book. <laughs> Eat like Walt. What does that even mean? <laughs> there are monkeys. There's monkeys over there. <laughs> there are monkeys at Walt's barn. It's got all these like <laughs> original. Look at, look at this recipe. Oh my it's gosh. So Where are they? There's a million. Hold on, I gotta find the good shots. Look at the, oh my gosh. He's buying ice cream at Disneyland. David, are you kidding me? Look no, you're guys. not Dude, kidding me. That's a fantastic look fantastic already. Book. These pictures, I've never seen these pictures before. You know how you like, you search the web for pictures of Walt in Disneyland, you're like, I've seen that one, I've seen, seen that one, I've seen, I've seen that one. These are like, yeah, I've amazing. never. Wait, where's the one that Liz, Liz and I were just oh, freaking yeah, out over? Oh yeah, I gotta find it. It was Frontierland. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> what? I will call. Do you want to go get one? Yeah, I have to go get this book. So I had to tell Sarah to wait because I had to get that book myself. Now we both have one. <laughs> wait, wait. We're like super BFFs. We're like Look at that. book twins. Look at that. <laughs> You did. I was like, when she, she uh, Liz asked me, hey, are you going to get the book? I'm like, no, no, Sarah's got it. It's cool. And they're like, no, now I have to have my own. <laughs> so we're going to get, I guess we're going to get signed by the author somewhere. This, this is amazing. We've been geeking out already. I'm so glad you're geeking out. No, I'm super geeking out. Two years. It's a second reprint. New York Times bestseller list. Wow. New York Times book review. I'm, I'm, I'm willing it to me. Yes, yes. Keep manifesting. Keep manifesting. <laughs> yeah. It'll I mean, happen. We're, we're, It'll happen. You know, Manifestation. Uh, almost she, like, she sold out here the last time she came. See? In, so that's where we had to have it. Yeah, this is, this well, is amazing. Like and the photos in here were The photos are fantastic. Beautiful. Oh, these guys are used to them that study Walt Disney and Disneyland. But 90% of them do. 90% have never been published before. So no, wow. we, feel, we feel like half the pictures in there. Yeah. Sure. Uh -huh. What is this? I've never seen this. Let's see if I can do this for you. That's possible. I can remember when we discovered that Don DeFore's sons were still available. Oh, I know. And Don DeFore's silver banjo, which was How very How long did it take you to like research? Two years. Yeah, two years. Two years. About 80 days at Disneyland. I wrote a lot of Disneyland for me. But you know that one of the notable things here is everybody in the book knows that there's no third person like Dan Todd. Wow. So whether I interviewed and I just was sat with Orlando Ferrante who worked with Walt since 1957 and I'm going to Disney World and meeting uh, Bob Allen who is a son of a uh, Bob Allen right. and then hopefully Dick Nudis who is the president of Walt Disney World. So I just keep trying to, but I'm a Disneyland my area so you'll see when the announcement comes out for the next box. I am firmly only a Disneyland story to Walt's era. I'm not doing Disney, I'm just Disney. Walt Disney. Walt. Oh, okay. Who am I saying? Sarah. S A R B. No H. No H. No H. How do you like this song? Is it good? So. It's the best. Oh, 
Train, another train out here. Wow. Uh, I want a backyard to put this train in. Yeah, so does Ethan. Seriously, Ethan wants wow. everything back here. I would do this in a second. In a second, I would do this if I had the backyard. And there's the train over there. It's making its way slowly. Probably needs a little more steam. You get nothing done, sir. I would have to retire from making. Are we cross? Uh, I would have to retire because I wouldn't be able to make videos anymore because yeah, I, I would spend all my time. But that's that's my idea. Yank you off of it. That's my idea of retirement right here. The owners gave him orders on the train to try and beat the record of the Robert E. Lee. Just be up the fire, let the old smoke roll. Burn He's up going, all your gold if you run out of coal. We don't meet wow. the record. Okay, so I think where we're heading next is to try to get one of these trains. We have to leave the property because it's not actually part of the Waltz Barn, you know, property or whatever. So we have to go out and then get on one of them trains. We've made our way next door. We're going to end our day with a train ride on one of those things we saw running around all day while we were at the uh, Waltz Barn. Now, this is separate. Uh, it's not free. These are three bucks. Three bucks to ride the train. Yeah. Oh, poor Ethan. He doesn't know the password. Password is the tall and Oh, you had the password. Okay. I don't know. I have no idea, but this is going to be a maze. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm very... This is a volunteer nonprofit organization. Oh. Yeah. Supported solely by membership dues and your donations. And my three bucks. Group of seven. Trains everywhere. Like, it's just train, 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 trains everywhere. Train. You know, Fresh Baked loves trains. Engineer, he's the first blind engineer we've had. We're good. Okay, we're gonna have We're going. Are we doing this? Are we doing this? Okay, it's time to go. Another one. Get him! <laughs> oh my god, can we oh, ride that one? Oh, we do? We all yeah. do it? Oh, that's great. Oh my oh, god. god. Yeah, that guy did say it was long, huh? Wow. Oh, here's a little depot. Wow. I feel like how people might feel when they go to Disneyland for the first time. Ew. Right? Oh Look at all these little switches and stuff. What do they call it? The uh, turn around or turn whatever? Table. The roundabout or turn table. turntable? Oh, look. Oh my god. I love you! <laughs> <laughs> and you're fine. Look at this guy again! 
<laughs> He's getting it done. Look at it, it says Davis Mike. Cool. I heard stories, Ian, about what happens if you go to the Davis Mike. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Um, I'm a little scared now, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, danger! Oh, danger! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! This is the best thing ever! Oh my god! That was so cute! <laughs> oh, that was so cute! Hi! <laughs> I love it! <laughs> I'm so happy! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> we're on the other side now that I just wish we were. Wow. Ethan, Ethan! Hold your breath and make a wish! <laughs> Are you okay, Ethan? Oh, All right. We're going really fast now. We're hauling. Oh no, we're coming right for this guy. <laughs> Oh yeah, three bucks. <laughs> three bucks? It's three dollars ever. I know, it's the best three dollars ever. Oh dear. Oh, oh M -G. Wow. nightmares. Oh my, you must be part of the Halloween thing. <laughs> they just kept it up. I hope you enjoyed our, our visit today to uh, Griffith Park and Walt's Barn. We were just commenting here. We're, we've wrapped up our day. Where is everybody? Is everybody in there? We were asking the question, why isn't it? Why did we take so long? Well, A, what, why did it take us so long to get here? And where have Muffins, why did you tell us to get our butts down why here? Are you not like, at I us? feel like they were holding back, like they didn't want us to know. Is this a secret is that it? you guys were holding Did you not out? want us to go? Like, you want because it is. I mean, I can see if this gets too popular, it would no, be for sure. crazy. Yeah. Okay, I, Ixnay. We already figured it out. Oh, oh way arm bay. We already figured it out. Oh, Ixnay on the on the secret say. Secret say. Alt a day. Way arm Aintray, bay. A day. I, <laughs> Trains. Train day. You know they say. David doesn't trains. know how to speak pig Latin or understand it. I do it. know how to speak pig Latin. <laughs> but he can't understand it. <laughs> thanks for thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. Thanks for uh, being our Walt Disney Bar, yeah, Carolwood, Pacific friends. Can we get yes. that tattooed? Yes. <laughs> I'm sure there's people who haven't made one of these YouTube videos. Yeah, I think so. Bear, 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 bear would be cool. Like I got a selfie with Bear. Dude, bear, <laughs> bear took my phone and cursed at us, and I knew I was in love. <laughs> like, I knew and that's the, my new yeah, best friend. Heavy tried to take a picture of us and took a selfie of himself instead. Dude, you need to post that picture. You need to send that picture to me. I want it. This picture, this picture of Bear was a total accident. Did you do like, camera going here? Right. Yeah. Uh, thanks, you guys, for, for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, 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 Bye. guys. Bye. Oh, wait, there's Ethan. There he is. Bye. Ethan, by the way, did you live? Uh, there was a lot of close calls there. There were a lot of close calls. Dude, that tunnel, I had to like bend my head. I was getting scared. Just make yourself small, Ethan. Make yes, yourself small. All right, bye guys. Bye. bye. 
We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh Daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time. Fresh Baked!